Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sakwa coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing and wonderful morning. I don't know where you are right now or the state or condition of your heart, but I want to speak hope into you this morning because I know the Lord means well in our lives. I want to pray and then we'll listen to the voice of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we appear once again before you. and We want to thank you because there is nothing you don't know in our lives. And so this morning, as we seek to receive your voice from wherever we are following from, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name, that you're going to minister to us greatly by the grace of God. May this word come forth in power, revelation, and anointing of God. May the lives of people be transformed and be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that you use me as a vessel, O God, and let all the glory and honor come back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Good morning. What a privilege, what an opportunity, what a time to hear the word of God into our lives. I don't know what you're going through this morning, but I'm here to speak the word of God into your life in full belief that the one who has sent me will be able to touch you in a great way. I want to speak about a subject I have titled, Watch for the Trends, Watch for the Trends. I want to say that things just don't happen in the lives of people. It's a subject I've spoken before, but I want to reiterate this morning that things do not just happen. Now, I'm not saying that we be overly conscious about things that happen, but I want you to know that there are certain trends when you see in life, some you ought to entertain and some you ought to disregard and work towards ensuring that that particular trend does not continue, that we will ask God to divinely come through our lives and deal with issues that are causing so much trouble in our lives. This morning, I choose to talk about the positive trend. Tomorrow, I will talk about the negative trend. But today, I want to focus on the positive trend. I read the Bible in the book of 2 Timothy chapter number 1. 2 Timothy chapter number 1. We are going to read from verse number three, and then we'll go up to verse number five. Actually, we'll read up to verse number seven. The book of Second Timothy, we're going to read chapter number one. We're going to read from verse number three to verse number seven. Bible says these words. Timothy, I thank God for you, the God I serve with a clear conscience. Just as my ancestors did. You can see a trend there. Just as my ancestors did. I serve God with a clear conscience just as my ancestors did. It is a trend. Night and day, I constantly remember you in prayers. I long to see you again for I remember your tears as we parted. And I'll be filled with joy when we are together again. Verse number five. I remember your genuine faith, for you share the faith that first filled your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice. And I know that that same faith continues strong in you. This is why I remind you to fan into flames uh, the spiritual gift God gave you when I laid my hands on you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. You can clearly see that the writer of this particular scripture reminds us about the faith that he exercises day and night, which he refers to have been existing in his ancestors. Now, he qualifies this point by talking to Timothy and saying, I remember your genuine faith. Yeah, the writer is remembering the faith that is upon Timothy. But he knows that Timothy is not the beginning of this kind of exercise, of this kind of faith. He talks about that this particular faith first 
filled your grandmother Lois and then your mother Eunice and now it is without doubt that it's in you. Praise the Lord. Now I want you to know that the, the kind of life that our fathers lived in terms of spirituality can be able to transfer, can be able to propagate us to move faster in the things that God wants us to do. Now, when you see a positive trend in your life, when you see a positive trend in your life, spiritual positive sense, it is important for you to continue to grow it, to continue to cultivate, to continue to add into it so you can continue to mature into the things of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I want you to know that if our parents, our forefathers got it right in particular dimensions of our lives, it is possible that the people who come after them will not have a difficult time. All they will be required to do is to continue to fun, to continue to put more energy into it, to continue to get, to get it even to a higher level. That is why the writer is talking to Paul and saying, you need to fan into flames the spiritual gift that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. He continues to say, for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. Now, many people talk mm -hmm. about power. Many people talk about many things. But I want you to know this morning that you must watch for trends in your life. And positive trends must be found. Positive trends must be found. You must continue to move into the trend, the positive trend that you can be able to see. This is the will of God. This is the purpose of God. Now, if this your family is known for a specific positive trend, it's up to you to take it even to a higher level. Whether it is ministry, whether it's in a profession, whether it's in leadership, political cycles. What I want you to know that there are positive trends in the lives of people. And this morning I have come to encourage you that you must continue to fan, fan, to make it burn that particular positive trend in your life, in your family. Look out for the positive trend in your family and continue to fan it so that it can grow, that you can mature, you can become to the optimal level that God wants you to get by fanning the abilities, the trend that God has laid before you in the mighty name of Jesus. The writer recognizes that Timothy has got faith, but he also says this faith was in your grandmother and it was also in your mother, a specific positive trend that we can be able to see. The writer also refers to in, in, uh, in that he serves God with a clear conscience just as his ancestors did. He's able to recognize the, the, the trend of conscious serving with a clear conscience of serving God, which was not only limited to him, but it actually came from his own ancestors. This morning, you must look for the positive trend in your family so you can continue to fan it, so you can be able to get better. If your family is known for a specific thing, then you need to know that that positive thing it is known for. Don't be the one that will be able to drop the ball or stop the cycle of continuous positive growth known of your family. Be an additive. Make it to rise from one level to another. Grow that positive trend in your family. Grow it in the name of Jesus Christ. Make it better. If your family was known, your family was known for business, make sure you lift this business to another level by fanning that because you're already a step ahead. God has already brought you into a line that you can be able to make sure your family business grows even much higher. If your family is known for ministry, make sure you don't drop the ball. Make sure you pick it up, you run with it, and take it to a high level. If your family is known for political leadership, don't be the one who will drop the ball. Don't be the one that will mess up things. Pick it up and make it even better. Where your parents might not have done exactly well, things they desired to do and they were not able to accomplish them because their time was up, you have to get onto the stage and do even better. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. If your parents have ministered to people in ministry, they have done great things. Don't be the one who will drop the ball. Pick up the ball and mature. Make it better. Look out for the positive trend and perpetrate it by fanning the fire of the Holy Spirit. If your family is known for sport, don't drop the ball. Pick it up and make it even better. Break the records they were not able to break in the name of Jesus Christ. If your family, you're known for administration and order, please make sure you take it a notch higher. Mature into it. Do it better. Study. Well, it is a study to show yourself approved as a workman that needs not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Pick it up. Watch for the positive trend and fan it up. Paul is, is writing to Timothy and saying, I remind you to fan mm -hmm. into flames the spiritual gift that God gave you, praise the name of the Lord, which when I laid my hands on you, fan up, fan, fan into flames the spiritual gift that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. It is God's desire, God's purpose, God's intention that you rise up in power and focus into the reality that God is speaking into our lives by the grace of God. That is what I came to speak to us this morning because I have got no doubt in my life, my heart, the Lord is perpetrating his own agenda in our lives by making sure we become that which he intended for us to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, as I speak to you this morning, it's possible that you might have wanted to give up on an issue. Maybe something did not go right at a particular time. You felt discouraged. You felt hopeless. You felt like there's no hope. You felt like there's nothing you can mm -hmm. do to make your agenda rise. I'm here to challenge you. I'm here to speak into your life and to encourage you, my friend, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you rise up in power, in the focus, in the dimension, in the desire that God wants for you. It is still possible. You're not late. It's still possible that the Lord will restore everything the caterpillar and the canker worm have stolen. Bible tells us the Lord will restore a hundredfold. It is possible for God to still to bring the realities that he set out for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to know that this morning we are speaking about uh, fanning, fanning into flame the positive trends that we see in our lives by the grace of God. And I want to assure you this morning from the, best, the, the heart of God that God desires that he'll bless you. God desires that he'll lift us. God desires that he'll use us in his end and plan in the name of Jesus Christ. And I know that the Lord is divinely blessing people's lives. The Lord is divinely lifting people from one level of glory to another in the name of Jesus Christ. You've got to believe that which God is saying to you. You've got to believe that which God wants to do in your life. You've got to believe that God is on your side. You've got to believe that God has got the power to divinely affect your life positively by the grace of God. You've got to believe that God is going to work in his own ways to ensure your victory and your success. You've got to believe that our God has the capacity to bless our lives and lift us from the level we are in to the place where he wants us to be by the grace of God. This morning, I'm therefore excited. I'm so excited about this word that I am watching for every positive trend in my life, in my family, and fan it into possibility in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I know there are many people with greatness this morning. I know there are people who have got their loved ones who are unwell this morning. I know there are people who need hope, who need help from God. I want to make a prayer this morning in the name of Jesus, a prayer of faith. And I believe that the Father who hears in the secret will be able to come through for you in the open, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning because of who you are. Thank you because of speaking to us. Thank you, Father, because of your word that we watch for trends in our lives, my Father. This morning, we have spoken about positive trends. And I thank you, my father, because of what Paul wrote to Timothy about the grandmother and the mother, talking about genuine faith. This morning, I pray that you help us to pick out every positive trend that we can be able to grow and to ride on it and to do even better. 
This morning, I remember the people having their loved ones suffering in sickness and disease. I send your word of power, your word of healing upon their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for restoration. Thank you, Father, for those who are lying in hospital beds this morning. I decree the healing of God upon their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And my Father, those who are going through difficult challenges in their lives this morning, I pray in Jesus' name that God, your mighty hand, your power, your grace, your glory is being made manifest in the lives of your people in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you because when we call into your name, you hear and you answer prayer. This is our call this morning, that you are rescuing people and blessing their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you. This has been your host and your servant, Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I ask you by the grace of God that you will share this message to as many people in your networks and invite people to follow the YouTube page, Johnston Sakwa 1.0, where all these messages reside. You can find them at your own time and your life will never ever be the same again. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning by the grace of God. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. And it's my prayer and desire that the Lord helps you to pick out your positive trend and fan it so that the Lord can be seen in your life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning by the grace of God. God bless you and have a good, wonderful morning in the presence of the Lord. Amen and amen.